Hi. Welcome back to Sudhi Podio's conversations. It's always a pleasure to be here. Congratulations on your Telugu film Ruler, which is just released. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best for that, as Thank well you. as your forthcoming project. Thank you. So, how does a composer like you uh, approach a tune, or how does one create a tune you know, out of nowhere? So, I know it's a vague mm. question, a vague way of. Uh, Actually, the whole process is very abstract. So, there is no one way to describe it or anything, but uh, basically what will happen is that you will get a brief and uh, in the brief uh, uh, they will tell you the situation and what kind of mood they are looking at and a lot of the times now, most of the times they will have a reference. That So, exactly from the reference you get to know that this is the kind of mood that they are looking at, you know. And um, so, the, my next question to them when I get the brief would be, uh, what should the words be talking about? What should the lyrics be saying in the song? Because once you get that, then the mood becomes even more clear of, you know, what needs to be said. So, basically then, um, once I get that, I will open a piano track. Uh, a, a piano instrument and my favorite is at the moment is piano tech because it's very light and uh, it's it's just like something I can just start working with it gives me a decent enough piano sound because even the sound actually should be nice for you to in, it, it should inspire you to make something you know if I get a like a very midi uh, you know cheap piano sound then you don't feel good so the sound also has to be rich and this has got a pretty rich sound it's it's very nice. So, I will open this and then um, I will just kind of randomly uh, start singing phrases or which are in that mood. Generally, I compose without the lyrics. So, I will have some my own shitty uh, dummy words or something that did, uh, something like, uh, like for example, biggest example is Teri Meri Kahani Hai Barisho Ka Pani. <laughs> you know, now that actually doesn't make sense, you know. And uh, we tried our best to change it when we were doing the final song that uh, how can we change this to make more sense but we tried a lot but the ring of Teri Meri Kahani Hai Bari Shoka Bani was just something that we couldn't beat. So then we had to like kind of you know um, come up with uh, something that would anyhow make these two things uh, I mean would make sense of this phrase. So then of course Manoj came, uh, who, who's written the words Manoj Yadav he came up with Teri Meri Kahani Hai Bari Shoka Bani Banke jo ishq barse teri meri kahani. So, if you want to confuse people, confuse them even more. <laughs> you know. Uh, so basically, yeah. So I'll just start singing some gibberish, um, some words. But because uh, a melody, very important part of the uh, the melody is the phonetics of the words. So my gibberish that I sing will kind of. Uh, roughly define the phonetics of the lyrics. You know, whether the, the line is ending with the A, ah, E, M. Mm. You know, sometimes if you M, mm, like it shuts the your mouth, so it, it, it can create a different kind of a feel. Whereas A ah is very open sound, so it, it all depends. And, and generally, it's not something that I consciously think about, but it's something that just comes out when you're singing, uh, you know, something, whatever, any line. So, and basically, me being uh, a comp uh, uh, sorry, uh, musical illiterate uh, that I've not studied music and stuff, so I know my basic uh, majors and minors. And uh, I'm not a racist, but I do only compose in the key of C because it's all white keys, so it's easier for me to kind of you know uh, work around. And then probably I'll transpose it to whatever it is. Uh, try to learn the uh, the keyboards and piano a lot many times, but I I don't think I, I I don't know I just couldn't go through it. Let's say if it's a sad song or a, a romantic song which is not very overtly happy, then minors definitely is something that I I would go with. And uh, for minors, then these are like you know A minor, G, F, E, D minor, C. Uh, I mean, I would play around with with the combination of these to come up with something, you know. If it's a happy song, then probably I would go A major, F sharp minor, uh, E, D, 
and sometimes if you want to create a melancholic kind of a composition then something like a a major to a f or a major to a d minor gives a very nice color so these are something that over the years i've been uh, doing and i i know that these work sometimes even going from a major to a minor so like um, for instance uh, there's a song uh, you're so beautiful from the movie haunted it goes um teri se ye dhadkan meri dekha tumhe to chalne lage suno suno you're beautiful suno suno you're beautiful so basically this suno suno you're beautiful the f major to f minor it just uh, very it gives me that whole beatles kind of uh, a feel and uh, it works so these are some of the techniques that uh, i i mean some of the progressions that i and chords that i know of i i still am not aware of all the added stuff and the you know extended chords and but with my whatever basics that i know i just kind of managed to compose so for instance um, there's a song of mine from uh, 1920 evil returns that uh, became quite popular and uh, it's called jab bana uska hi bana so my process is that as i'll sit on the piano and try and compose something and i'll give myself 15 to 20 minutes max to come up with the melody when i got the brief uh, i kind of pitched many songs and uh, somehow none of them got approved and this was one song that i just made um, uh just like that and uh, again it employs uh there might be better chords played in the final arrangement but for me uh in my most most basic skeletal form it would be meri kismat ke har ek panne pe mere jeete ji baad marne ke mere har kal har lamhe mein तू लिख दे मेरा उसे ए खुदा ए खुदा जब बना उसका ही जब बना उसका ही बना सो एज यू सी इट्स जस्ट द काइंड ऑफ कॉज आई वाज टेलिंग यू ए माइनर जी ए खुदा जब बना एफ बी माइनर so once i have something that excites me and i think okay so it's it'll be just constantly 15 20 minute bursts of singing random phrases until there is so if i don't get something good within the 15 20 minutes window i i kind of get up or i'll go on youtube or i'll watch some documentary or i'll read something or you know i'll be doing something else because i believe that if i whatever comes at the spur of the moment is something that comes from the heart and not from the mind because if i sit and if i have of course if there is a deadline i will sit and i'll try kind of force myself to come up with something but ideally i don't like that process i like to for the melody to just occur rather than you know uh, be made or like a contrived kind of a, a approach is not something that i like i like that it should just come to me it should just occur to me i should just be able to pluck it out of thin air you know so what i'll do is i'll give myself 15 20 minutes 15 20 minutes kuch nahi aaya leave come back kuch nahi aaya leave come back kuch aaya acha ye acha hai to straight mobile phone or mic put it in and uh, and once i put it in then i'll kind of keep listening to it and and keep seeing if there's any section or i might get the first section or i might just get the chorus then now i have to figure out a way to arrive at the hook or the chorus of the song or sometimes i'll get this beginning then i need to figure out do i need a bridge to go to the hook does the hook come the sing so now once i have that idea on the phone whatever basic it is then i'll kind of work on it elaborate it and then put the entire idea and once i have the entire idea I, my next step has to be words because only then will i know that um, that this melody 
with the synergy of this melody with the words is going to be able to convey um, uh, the emotion that the song needs to convey. So like in this case, uh, in Jabana Uskai Bana, I came up with the tune and first thing I got my lyricist uh, Juned Vasi who wrote the words for that to write it and if you hear this, I have kind of gone and picked it out uh, from a really old session which was way before that song ever was, uh, you, uh, 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 you know, composed, uh, I mean, that came out in the film was done way later. It was composed actually earlier. So I found that session and I've just imported the, this thing. So this is me singing uh, in my dirty voice uh, with just uh, basic chords and uh, with lyrics which are completely uh, different than what you heard. घर जगा मुझे, घर सुला मुझे, घर हँसा मुझे, घर रुला मुझे, घर मेटा भी तू है खुदा मुझे, तो उसके ही इश्क में घर वफा मिले, घर दगा मिले, घर दुआ मिले, घर दवा मिले, घर मौत दे बख्श जा मुझे तो उसके ही इश्क में ए खुदा ए खुदा जब बना उसका ही बना ए खुदा ए खुदा जब बना उसका ही बना सो बेसिकली दिस इज लाइक अ you saw it's like very 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 basic uh, version not even f uh, the piano is also not played very fancily a big shout out to uh, Saurav Roy who's very talented who produ produced this song for me and Arijit Singh for singing it so beautifully and also Juned Vasi for rewriting the song and writing it even better than and this uh, in the given situation so uh, yeah, so th this is like a very basic and I think most of you all already know this, but that's that's what it is. There's, it's not a, it's not rocket science composing a song. It again boils down to your taste. And I think it's somewhere in my previous uh, Sudeep audio video, I've, I've told you that what makes a composition good is, uh, is your taste in music. Because basically you're just singing random phrases, random uh, lines and random hooks till something that interests you is you, you come across it and you freeze it but what interests you is a function of your taste in music so if you if you are satisfied with something which is very uh, mediocre or something that's you know chalta hai chal jayega kind of thing then the song will also sound like chalta hai chal jayega only but if you're if you aspire to do good work or you, you're trying to do good stuff, then listen to good music, then you'll definitely compare your melodies with what you, you are hearing and, and there has to be somewhere a match, you know. And uh, so, like, again, I encourage people to listen to all kinds of music, good music and this good uh, music that's produced well, mixed well, so that your ears get used to a particular kind of a sound. And then when you make this thing, then that you can tell that chalta hai, you know, the mind of yours which is telling you chalta hai, you can tell it to shut up <laughs> and you can concentrate on kind of, you know, getting the production values up, getting the recording process done nicely, getting the mixing process done nicely. And now all the more, most of us are recording at home. A uh, lot of us don't go to the studio anymore. So it's become even more imperative for us to understand the art of recording, at least earlier, we were in a room that was treated acoustically and there was an engineer who was doing who was recording day in and day out you have good outboard gear there so you had everything to get a you know capture a good sound but now when you are in a room singer is there you are on the headphone the singer is on the headphone so to record and check whether it it is good enough you know or try to get the voice as close to how it would fit into the song without any EQ or, you know, uh, with mild compression that you could get, you can record it in a way that it doesn't require too much work in the mix. So, these challenges are there. So, at the moment, I'm kind of working on that, you know, that, okay, like, how can I um, get a better mix 
or uh, get a better recording going because at the end of the day it's the entire experience the the person who's listening is not uh, is your average listener is not technically savvy about oh that is happening or oh, 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 i love the e nobody talks like that but it is they cannot describe it when a song sounds good it just sounds good they just know it sounds good now when the sound sounds bad yes if your melody is great and probably uh, you know there are other things working for the song uh then it will still become a hit you will still get the views but somehow jo jo maza aata hai gana acha lagta hai jab sunne mein uska maza kuch aur hai and that is what uh, is something that i i mean i try to strive for and i'm still striving for and uh, have set very high standards for myself which i have still not been able to reach so that's uh, something that drives me at the moment